Okay, and welcome back to some more Wii U. Wii, Wii U. <laughs> Wind Waker Wii U. As always, Master Guard right here. Last left off, we just arrived on Dragon Rift Island. Oh, there's a mean message. So let's continue onward to get that pearl. Let's see what this message says. Sam! Okay. That's what it says. It says Sam. Okay, so. Pick it up. Drop it. No! Link! No! <laughs> you dumbass. Keep pressing the same Health! Oh, these explosions look beautiful. Ow. You see nothing. Hurry up, blow. Hearts. Ow! I got the one too early. Okay, so I gotta use this one. Get it. If you like it, come and get it now. Oh, really? Really? Wow. Wow. Blow it up! No! Gosh, darn it. I gotta throw it right when it blows up. Don't yawn at me. How dare you yawn. You're a boat. Be a boat. Yay, and I failed, but it's okay, because I blew it up, so. That's all that matters. Oh! Well, so we got that ready. Let's go down here, let's go ahead and get this spell. Or this, I'm sorry, this this tune. Hurry up, go by. I don't, I don't want your goods. Don't just stop in front of me, you rude. Oh, another message. What does that say? Huma, or Uma. He never learned his lesson. Oh, it's a picture. Oh, oh yeah, that one. They tied him up. <laughs> okay, items. Don't just fall off, Link. Jesus. This appears to be markings that indicate specific directions. There's my one worker. Why can't. Oh, it's up in the deep end. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I need to learn to read. Left, right. Up, left. Now I can change the direction of the wind at my leisure, which I needed to get this anyway. If you don't get it now, the game's gonna tell you to get it before you can leave, so. Might as well get it before you have to leave. That's his brothers. You get his brothers if you meet him in the Cyclones and see. Mmm, mm, that's a mighty nice breeze, yes. Oh. The name's Zephos. I'm the god of wind, so you wouldn't know the new wind waker, are you? Great, great, for a beginner, you're a nice wind sense of I like you, kid. The tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing, or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother, Cyclops, is miffled about his monument here being broken. And now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. Uh, so if you count any cyclones at sea, just test my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. So if we see any cyclones, go up to him. And we can deal with his brother, but we'll do that. If we ever see one, we'll do it. If not, no biggie. What the crab? Crab people. <laughs> Tastes like crab, walk like people. I don't watch South Park. Okay, so we got that. So let's go ahead and head on up. Head on up to the east side. I finally got a piece of the pie. Okay. Link, thank you. Climb. There we go. Now we got shimmy cross. One, two, three, a four, a five, six, a seven, eight, nine, a ten, a eleven, twelve, thirteen, a thirteen, or fifteen, a sixteen, or seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay. Blue Ruby. Woo! Woo! So let me just drop that. Yeah, America. No mail from you, that face. Okay. Oh, it's this male dude. 
Trying to get comfortable here. Link! Link, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. You're not. I must say, you've traveled far from him with no wings. And your sister, is she? Oh. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I told my people about you and all of us, Rito, are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of Ariel. Whatever. It's settled then. We'll fly up ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Link, I'm coming. Come inside, Link. Ah, uh -huh. that's what all I say. I'll be waiting. Oh, he's he nasty. That's a nasty bird. One nasty bird. I'm not very good with commentary, so I'm just going to say random stuff. Unless I can just look like, mm, look at that boulder. That's a nice boulder, but no one wants to talk about that. Normally I play in silent, but, you know, I wanted to record this. You know, just for y'all's entertainment or just for me to watch and just, you know, enjoy in the future. You may be hearing the Wii U this whole time. That's the Wii U because we don't have a pop filter on this mic. We need to get one. We might just get a new mic altogether. What? I mean, well, <laughs> have you discovered the cause of the great Volo's anger? Uh-uh. Oh, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told, us, told me all about you. A troubling tale, indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do for you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice a raging dragon perch atop the mountain? As you can see, we, the Rito tribe, are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings in the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit Valu, Valu, whichever you prefer. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of the dragon roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. This is the scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Vulu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the, feed, the fledglings, who are of age, will never be able to receive scales from Vulu on Dragon's Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Mm-hmm. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would offer, open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is one of the ages is that the is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on every on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage, with my son? Will you meet with my son? Yes, I will. I thank you. We should do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley. I, I, when I was little, I, I used to call her Medea. Medeli. I'm sorry, Medeli. So, but it's Medley, I believe. It's taken, holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you! You! I'm jocking on you, jocking on you. Here, Link, take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. You got a delivery bag. Finally crafted, it's where you get your mail. So all the mail stuff you get in the game, you put in here. You should find Medea, Medley. In, well, I won't, I won't call Medea. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, winged friend. So let's go find Medley. If you know that this track is called Inside a House, or Inside, I think it's Inside a House, or Inside the House. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant of the Great Sky Spirit Vulu. My name is Midley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not a, an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still starting to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is for the chieftain. Link, wa Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. Da 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 da! You accepted father's letter. So I'm going to go ahead and say to X. The room is. It's back on the first floor. So, um, by the way, listen, I have a small favor to ask you. Would you please come to the entrance of Dragon Ridge Cavern later? I'll explain myself then. Okay. So let's go ahead and open our delivery bag. You can't see this, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on, um, on my dress, on my little quick bar. So let's go to his room. His room is down here in this really narrow ass, fucking big ass open hallway. So this door looks like it has teeth, but it's not. 
Let's go in here. And he is holding something that we need. But how do we get it from him? Well, we'll go find out. So now we're just going to press X and show him the letter. A letter from my father. Oh, sure. Tell me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he has to go get his girl from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose on the piece of business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't like feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get scales from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm him down? Psst, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say. You can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me something who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Until then, get the fuck out of my room. Well, you know what? I will. I will get out of your room, and I'm going to tell your father you cussed me out, and you're going to get grounded, and you're never going to be able to allow it outside again. You'll never get your wings. You'll be a frightless, a frightless, a fi flightless little brat who's never going to get what you want. You know what? When I was little, you see the, you see underneath ears, his hair? I always thought they were earrings. I really did. Until I realized, wait. <laughs> those are, um, those are not earrings. They're, they're his hair. So yeah, a little bit of trivia for you about me. Let's see if I remember how to get to the cavern. I think up this up here would lead me directly to, uh, outside. I think I just jump off. Nope, this leads me outside to the beautiful sunshine. I do not want to go to the beautiful sunshine. I want to go to the cave entrance. I think it's over here. Hello, guy with letters. Being nosy. Move. Hello? Nope, it's, I think and then it's downstairs. Okay. Well, I was somewhat wrong. Yep. All right. Yep. Roll! Yeah. Hello, guy. Look fancy here, dude. <laughs> and it should take... There we go. Okay. So here we are. Dragon Roost Captain. Yep. There she is. Hey, girl. Hi. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. Surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Vulu, he became so angry, and in his rage, he shook the mountain, and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the results. But where's my mind? Tell me, how's Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be practically to blame for that bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Vulu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was very kind and brave, and I'm surpassed in her de dealings with the great Bali. Bali. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is still high. If I can get some wind under my feathers, I'm sure I can get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Ooh, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face the legend closely. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction you're going. Alright, I'm ready. So pick her up. Go on this rock or rush. Now wait for the wind to start going towards. And then throw her and she'll be able to play up there. Oh, thank you. I think I'll be able to climb to Dragon Roost to meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm maybe just been a uh, uh, apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Vulu's language. I am certainly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all to give you. I know it's not much for a second. And she gives us a bottle! And this part took me ages when I was little. Oh, and please don't tell anyone I'm coming up here. It's a secret, okay? Good luck to both of us. Took me ages to realize what you do here. What you do is you take your bottle, okay? You put it there. You go over to the water, you press X and you grab some, okay? Now you have water in a bottle, okay? And you climb on this rock, or you can just climb up there, you know? And you climb up here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour this on the little bomb bomb plant over here. You're gonna pour it on there, and um, they're gonna come alive. And then you can use it to destroy the um, the boulder and fill it up from, from across there. Let's wait till it blows up. No, oh, I missed. Hurry up, throw. Throw. Yay. Do 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 do. That's the you did something right. 
voice of the game. <laughs> I was laughing because Aaron or Debater Zeno just showed me that he platinumed, platinumed the uh, infamous second son on PS4. He got all the trophies. Yep. Proud of myself. <laughs> so let's continue onward to the inside of this cavern. But wait, we can't do that yet. We have to. This part. Oh my god, this part I hate. It might take me a few tries. Yay. That one I can do. It's this one I have the problem with. Yeah, I did it. Did it? Yeah, I did it. Hooray. 10 points to get more. Okay. But we're not going in right now. We're going to go in this on the next episode. Stay tuned.